morning, Internet. I thought we'd start today with going to the beach and getting some sand and some goodies because I'm going to have a take the quail to the beach day. <laughs> However, I'm not taking the quail down on the beach because, number one, they're still only, I think they're about five days old. Of course, they hatched uh, further apart, about five days apart. But um, I have them in uh, the brooder I, I made out of just a plastic tote, so I have a couple of them. So I'm, I'm taking a second one and just getting some sand. Quail actually in their natural habitat uh, like sand and dirt to uh, bathe in. It's actually probably the best flooring for them for their little uh, feet. Some people keep them on wire bottomed cages because it's easier for cl cleanliness, but I personally don't like to do that just because I feel it's cruel and it's so much easier, especially since I live on the beach. It's silly to not use sand. Now these are brand new quail, so they have not yet got to appreciate the joy of sand. So I'm getting some sand, and while I'm at it, I thought, let's make it like a fun little uh, vignette, or um, almost like a little day at the beach for them. So bringing in the tote with sand, and I, I took some of the switchgrass that gl grows in the sand as well, just because I thought it would look cute, and I thought they would like to play amongst it. You can see the roots here. They grow very easily in the sand, and I, and I also found a, we have a horseshoe crab, so I put that down because I thought they might like to kind of go under it like a little hidey hole. You never know, just something fun. And some seashells, and then um, I also have a, a bucket full of salt hay, which I often use to as malt in my own garden. I thought they'd love to pick around in that, and often there are little bugs and things that I know they'll enjoy to eat. So I just made this fun little tote for them to play in for the day. Um, and then I can kind of let them play in there and then at night put them in their other one. So here they, here I am introducing them into their fun new little day at the beach. <laughs> that one's already trying to go under the horseshoe crab. They immediately um, were excited about uh, the new surroundings. And I th I'd just like to watch their response. I mean, they're just so exciting to watch. Now they're still very tiny. Um, I would say maybe like half the size of a... a bantam chicken chick so that's you know like an eighth the size of a traditional chick and so I'm giving them some fresh water and a little uh, bowl I still keep stones in there just they're well beyond the age where they would drown but it's still fun to just uh, put stones because it looks pretty and also it makes me feel a little bit safer like I know that they have something to stand on because they do like to run into the water um, and here I just thought this was just so cute with the seagrass and the sand and it's just like a little vignette. It's almost like a little Victorian um, taxidermy box. Of course, the birds are not taxidermy, they're alive. Don't they look adorable in the grass? And so they're drinking the fresh water and um, it's still new to them because I just put them in there, but I love this little fellow. She's just king of the mountain, immediately on top of the horseshoe crab. So uh, we'll let them play around and they'll have fun in the sand, I'm sure. And uh, they can find all the little goodies and things. So um, yeah, that's the day at the, be the beach for the quail. Of course, the beach being in my bathroom where I have the brooder. All right, so let's get today's artwork. Now yesterday you remember that I shared um, this sketch, which I did in um, pencil and pen and then watercolor. Uh, so now today I'm going to start working on a pattern of an animal to put into a wallpaper design behind this figure. And then this pattern will also work to be actual fabric and uh, wallpaper that I will also have for sale as well. So uh, what I like, and since today we were focusing on quail, I thought I'm going to have a quail pattern. So before I get into the decorative lines and vines and motif of the, the fabric, I first thought I'll work on quail. So I just did a couple of sketches here, basically just two adult quail. Um, sketching them somewhat lifelike and then at this point after I get the sketch in kind of where I want the darks and lights I then go over with the digital ink pen and kind of outline it you'll see when it disappears like that that's me shutting off the layer that has my sketch on and this way I can do an outline and then what happens is that outline that I make will become the sort of decorative outline for the motif of the wallpaper or fabric because as you know when you see fabric and wallpaper with animals in they're often a stylized version of animals they're not necessarily sketchy realistic all the time so this uh, is going to have this motif of these two quail and here I'm just playing with colors now I can change the color quite easily once I design the entire paper but I'm thinking the color is probably going to be in sort of a blue and white sort of twill 
kind of a look. Plus I really like blue and white china, so that sort of inspired me. But here you can see I'm just shutting off the sketch layer and just sort of arbitrarily making up patterns where their feathers would be. Uh, little half scoops and lines and things, really just slightly inspired by actual feathers, but also just at this point I kind of let the joy of design just go. And uh, even though this is just a part of a final piece, I always like to sign something as if it's a final piece. So that is how I do um, a pattern for, in this case, an animal that's going to be part of the design for wallpaper and fabric. Now I have a plan to do another pair of a different type of quail and then on my next video which will actually be uh, the day after tomorrow for tomorrow is Floral Friday. I'm going to be doing a flower arrangement tomorrow but the next day after that I'm going to be doing the next stage which will be another set of quail and then I will show how I make a repeat pattern and then those two quail will go into that repeat pattern and that will become a fabric, a wallpaper and then that will be behind that painting I made. So that's how I basically design patterns and, and uh, decorative motifs to put in my paintings that then themselves become their own decorative item. Okay, well I guess that's going to do me for today. I hope you enjoyed today watching my quail play in their little beach house and watching me do the design motif for my quail wallpaper. And until tomorrow, cheers!